Hi, and welcome to another AlterEgos.com training video. For this video, we will be demonstrating how to install the AppSense Client Configuration Agent onto remote systems. The first thing that we want to do is to get into the AppSense Management Console, which provides a install CCA function to deploy the agent on remote computers. Once the Management Console is open, you will want to left-click on the Deployment Groups section. If this is the first time you have opened the console, you will most likely be presented with the overview section as seen here. The first thing that will need to be accomplished is to enter the username and password for an account which has local admin rights on the system that the CCA will be installed. To do this, left click on the client access credentials. Then on the far right pane, click on add credentials. This will bring up a dialog box asking for the username and password you wish to use. Enter in the credentials for your environment at this time, then press OK. After doing so, a new line should appear in the center pane of the console showing the added credentials. The second thing that will need to be accomplished is to create a deployment group. You do this by highlighting deployment groups in the upper left pane of the management console then select New Deployment Group on the far right of the console. This will create a new group in the top left pane titled New Group and you can rename it to something more appropriate by right clicking New Group and selecting Rename. For the purposes of this video I'm going to rename it Demo. Once you have renamed the new deployment group, expand the settings section and highlight installation schedule. By default the settings here are disabled. You must change these to allow agent and configuration packages to be installed or uninstalled. For the purposes of this video I am going to select immediately in the agent schedule and one minute in the installation retry. Use the settings that are best for your environment then press submit at the bottom right of the console. The third step of the process is creating membership rules for the newly created deployment group. Every deployment group has a one-to-one -one relationship with a set of membership rules. These rules act like a filter to discover computers within the Active Directory. Select membership rules in the top left of the management console then highlight the deployment group in the center pane you wish to add a membership rule to. Once you have selected the desired deployment group, press Edit Group Conditions on the far right. This will open the Edit Conditions window. Click the Add button and you will be given several choices. For this demo, I will be selecting Active Directory Container. In my lab, I have created an AD container named Demo and have made sure that there is at least one computer that is part of the container. For this demo, I'm going to select that container. Once you have configured this setting for your environment, press OK. If you expand your deployment group in the center pane, you will see that a new membership rule has been added. Now press Submit at the bottom right. Now go to your deployment group and left click on Computers. Typically if you wait a few minutes the auto discovery will occur or you can press the Discover button at the far right to kick the discovery process off early. As we can see in my demo the discovery process has already happened and we are showing a computer in the computers discovered by membership rules in this group. This lets us know that we have a computer that has been discovered but no agent is installed on it. Now to install the CCA. Highlight the computer in the center pane then select CCA on the far right of the management console. You will see the Client Access Log tab begin to populate with details. It shouldn't take long before the CCA is successfully installed. 
Reading the logs will tell you if it was successful, as well as the deployment percent column should show a 100% symbol. As you can see here, it shows that we have successfully installed and we're just waiting for the CCA to register. Congratulations, you have successfully deployed the Absence CCA to a remote system. A word of caution before you move forward with the following step. Installation of the Environment Manager Agent, Application Manager Agent, or Process Manager Agent will cause a reboot of the systems they are installed on. If you wish to install the Environment Manager Agent, Application Management Agent, or Process Manager Agent, at this time, you can go to the Packages section, then right click on the appropriate agent in the center pane and select Assign. You will be given a warning message letting you know that this causes a reboot when installing this agent. Once you have selected the agents you wish to assign, press the submit button. Once you have pressed the submit button you can go to the computers under your deployment group and watch or monitor the process of the deployment under the deploy percent console. Once this has reached 100 percent you will know that the agent that you have selected has been completely installed. Congratulations you have now deployed the remaining agent to your target systems. That concludes the video. Thank you for watching and have a